hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today we are going to see how to make a puff sleeves so let's get started to make this puff sleeves you need the basic pattern of your sleeves this is a very normal basic pattern of the sleeves and to know how to make this basic pattern you can just click on the link that you see on the screen or else the link is in the description box continue watching the video and you can just check the link in the description box once this video is done so uh, once you are ready with the pattern so take the pattern paper and fold it into half you can see this is the folded edge so now what you are going to do is place this pattern paper towards the open side of the fabric like this okay and to the top side you have this much of fabric this is uh, 3 inches at the top you can see So you can see this 3 inch so this much you're going to give uh, the gatherings to your sleeves okay so it's very simple just fold the fabric into half first and place the pattern paper towards the bottom edge which it meets the raw edge of the fabric and the elements that you give at the top is going to be your gathering okay first I draw my sleeves pattern on my pattern paper like this Okay. and now this where my sleeves end and now I'm going to connect this point okay so from here to here this three inch is going to be our gathering so make sure you do that six inch because three inch on this side and three inch on that side so six inch is going to be your gathering that you're going to give to your sleeves so um, I'm going to cut this out this is the simple and the easiest way of making the puff sleeves so make sure you give a notch over here okay make the front part so don't forget to make the front part so take a marginal amount from the bottom line so that's going to be your front side so after cutting this out make sure you take this marginal amount from the front side of the sleeves and make a notch over here and also just draw a straight line And you're going to just mark a notch over here. So now I'm going to trace the same pattern to my fabric. See, this is the folded edge of the fabric, and I'm placing the pattern paper to the folded edge of the fabric like this. And I'm going to cut the seam. Make sure you leave enough fabric for folding. Make sure you mark the notches on this piece. And you have to do the same over here. Once the sleeves is ready, you have to keep your pattern paper on top and you have to check whether it's just coming in the exact way. So uh, let's start sewing. And to make the puff sleeves with a lining, you have to make the puffs first that is the gathering to the sleeves and then you're going to attach the lining to that so you can see the notches over the both the sides so now we are going to gather from this point till this point uh, taking a quarter inch more than the notched edge see taking a quarter inch more than the notched edge I'm going to start gathering the fabric 
so in my previous video on making this uh, designer puff sleeve I showed you how to gather the fabric in two way so now in this video I'm going to pleat the fabric like this very very small pleats so take a marginal amount and pleat it like this so take this fabric and just put it under the first pleat same like that take another this plain fabric and just fold it underneath so when you fold it like this you make a small small pleats like this so if you want to make gathering just look at the uh, designer puff sleeve blouse so that I showed you uh, two methods of making gathering so in this video I'm going to make a pleats over here so So take a sharp needle and lift your foot up and make the pleats and then you're going to leave the foot down. So put the needle in and lift up your foot and make the pleats and you're going to sew. Fold the sleeves like this and take your basic sleeve pattern what we made before and this is the basic pattern and I'm not taking the puff sleeve pattern and just place it on top of this so fold it towards the center so now place it on top see I'm just got the exact pattern of my paper you can see the bottom edge and the side is coming on the exact way and meeting at the top so now I'm going to do the same to the next side to the next side you're going to fold marginally like this after sewing this uh, you can just gather the bottom piece in two way either you can add this elastic to the bottom edge or else you can just make a normal pleat like this so take a small elastic like this so measure the dotted area and uh, take a one inch less than what is required and this much I'm going to use so take the wrong side of the fabric make sure you don't sew on the bottom edge just leave a quarter or one inch gap from the bottom and you're going to place the tape at this point where the notch is marked actually I have notched over here when while sewing the notch has gone in so I just given a mark at the top so I'm going to place my elastic at this point and I'm going to put my needle in just do a one or two back stretch and you're going to just pull the elastic like this and I'm going to sew this. So once it's done you can see just elasticate it like this so I'm going to add this lace on top of this from this point so while adding the lace you can make the gathering in a better way just gather a little bit more So 
you can see so when you wear this it's going to come like this it has a very neat and nice gathering at the bottom and at the top also you got a nice gathering so I took a 6 inch of gathering that is a 3 inch on either side so if you want a big puff sleeve you have to leave the 6 inch for more than a 10 or 11 or 12 inches so this looks really nice it's going to be the end result of the puff sleeve that I made you see how beautiful it is so to the end or if you want you can add the elastic or you can see the elastic or else you can just give updates normally as you give to the top end very well. and if you like this video just click on the subscriber link that you see on the screen and please do share this video with your friends and thank you so much take care bye bye